TCFU podcast, imminent start. It's coming. You guys can count the seconds. Count the seconds for for seconds until the seconds. The milliseconds. The milli, milliseconds. Is there any multiverse seconds? Mr. J? Is there any special sort of like... Uh, in DC Comics, is there any, well, what is the measurement for time? Any chrono? I don't know, check the doomsday clock. Somebody call a prip hunter. Let's figure this stuff out. This is the DCFU, the good, the bad, and the bizarro awards show. We are the Vundacast. Hip. I'm on the cutting edge. This is our theme song. It's the greatest song ever written, written by Jay Sarge, who did the theme song for Tell Him Steve Day. In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave new bodies band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the booming up. Podcast of Vundablog.com. Come on down, Raven. There's plenty of seating. How are you guys doing? Florida Supercon, Saturday, July 14th. We are here live in the flesh in room 315. We have Jack Sparrow and Raven sitting up front. Whoa. Whoa, thank you. Jack Sparrow looks very drunk. Holding a drink. He's like perfect cosplay performance. Um, I am Steven, I am your host. I created the Vodacast back in uh, 2013, although we dabbled in podcasting for probably a solid year before we ever were comfortable enough to release a podcast out into the world. And even that first podcast that we rele released out into the world that's still out there, where we review The Wolverine, starring Hugh Jackman, 2013, me and Danielle sat down, didn't even have a name for our podcast, and uh, when we put it out, instant shame, instant regret, but we kept it up, and we kept it going, and we tried to keep on polishing the podcast, and every episode, I feel like we get a modism closer. We eventually Monicum. fall behind. I like pronouncing things wrong. That's one of my many quirks. I have an English degree, so I do know how to speak English, so usually when I mispronounce things, it's strictly for comedic format. We are super friends. All of us. I guess I'm the Superman since I lead the crew. But on the DCFU, I'm the Earth 2 Superman. Because the prime Superman of the DCFU is Mr. J himself. This guy over here. This man did not pick up, did not buy a comic in a comic book store on a Wednesday until I told him to. And then the virus got so huge in his soul that he's... he's He's over. He's like he's more powerful than I am in DC mana. Whoa. Ain't that right, Mr. J? Mr. J, what is your first DC memory? What is what is the heart of Mr. J's DC? Is it is it 1989 Batman? Are you are you nuts? You gonna get nuts? Uh, probably would have been Batman Returns. That probably would have been the first one that I saw um, with Catwoman and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. That is super messed up. So your 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 baseline is like deep tragedy and like uh, penguin and like creepiness and like grossness and then it's a the lot. Tim Burton tragedy. It's the trim Tim Burton tragedy. And then you also have strange sexual chemistry. Is that you? You're sexy and sweet and Christmas and Chris Walken. Is that what you're saying? 
Well, I never noticed how weird that movie was when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Like now I notice it and it's like the, the penguin with all the black blood coming out of his yeah. face and like he's like um, biting, people, biting people in the yeah. nose and stuff yeah. and like you trying to touch people you know. inappropriately. No. Yeah, you don't you notice that stuff. Vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers, you're gonna know when this podcast is over. Because the penguin's gonna bleed all over that street for you, Mr. No. J. You just freaking like foreshadowed so hard here <laughs> without even noticing. Oh my god, synergy. It's the best. Whoa. Next up on our panel, we have my lovely wife, the cohortress herself, Danielle. She has a she has a panel later tonight called The Hottest Sex. That is in sex in room 305, where I'm gonna shut my mouth. Yes, you are. And Danielle is gonna tell us about all the foreplay that they put in things that guys probably watch and they're like, ooh, but all the girls are like, yeah. <laughs> so that's a preview that's of things. That's a very simplified verse, yeah. It's gonna be about tropes and sexy tropes and hand-holding, yeah. no penetration, yeah. we cannot give you simulation. A, we cannot give you a preview of things to come <laughs> because we're in the DCFU podcast, which stands for DC Film Universe. Next up on our panel, just drawing away, we have at Arobus Art on Instagram. He is going to give away one original drawing by the end of the panel. What are you working on? Um, uh, cheetah, because let's face it, by next Comic Con, she'll be everywhere. A cheetah. <laughs> Watch out. A feral vixen coming at you. Come on in, Waluigi. It's okay. You can leave if you get super smashed out of here. It's we all know good. you want to. I, I know you got to hook up with Wario. We have chairs. Oh, come on, double dash on in. It's all good. There's Cute. plenty of seats. Just stay away from the train wreck of You can here. leave at any time, but you got to sit down Which for like 30 seconds. Come on now. To protect our cables. So last but not least on our panel, who's doing a little video right now, but he's going to chime in in a while. We have Blockbuster Guy Frank himself. Oh, it's Blockbuster Guy on YouTube. This guy is a con stable. He has no fear. He could get a Green Lantern ring any second, as long as he is in within within like Wi-Fi range. Is that how Green Lantern rings work? Is like is is Mogo just a giant Wi-Fi antenna for these rings to get sent everywhere? Could it could could the Green Lantern power be so simple, Mr. J? Yes. Thank you. Whoa. Deep. So. This panel is going to be very, very open, and we want you all to chime in. We want your nominations. This is like the People's Choice Award, but the People's Choice Awards only ever tell you who won. They don't tell you who sucked, and then who was bizarro, who was like the Nicolas Cage, okay? <laughs> who was like, whoa, that's so bad, it's still so damn entertaining. Who was the Bizarro? So let's start off with a little example, and then you guys can create a category. My first category, simple, we're gonna go plain vanilla. Almost any human on the planet can play this game if Warner Brothers did their damn job right. Best Batman in TV, film, games. Boom, nominations. Kevin Conroy, Batman the Animated Series. He's downstairs. If someone brings him up, I'll give him this award. He can accept it. Someone go find him. Frank. Go get him. No, 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 no. No, stay here. We need, we need, we need, we need footage. We need footage. That was a joke. That was a joke. He, he would do it. He would do it. He would. He would do it. He's mad like the Joker. All right. My nomination, personally, I go... I remember, we have to give out a good, a bad, and a bizarro, all right? So everybody's up for grabs. Well, wait, best Batman ever? Right now, we're just trying to get nominees. Michael Keaton? Is that what you said? George Clooney. George Clooney? Whoa. Oh, wait, I like, this guy has a way better system than me. This guy's smarter than me. I'm horrible at creating systems. That's yes. one of the things they always kill me on in the podcast. Don't ever try to I have two episodes him. called The Trials of Trivia. Whoa, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, this guy just struck a lightning cord like the Dark, dark Knight Returns and shit. 
All right, no. One second. And, uh, and I'll let you have that nomination that if you can rebut this, okay? Does Ben Affleck not have the best Batman action sequence? In all, in everything. Your question? It's Will, it's Will Fidel from Boy Meets Girl. Batman Beyond, whoa! Terry Guinness. I like that. In the back? One second, in the back? Michael Keaton, let's get nuts. Michael Keaton, so he's on the good side. Okay, we got some people here. We got Michael Keaton. All right, so Kevin Conroy, good. Is everyone willing to go on that? No. You had two Michael Keatons. Okay. How do you do that? What's your picture? Christian Bale. Christian Bale, up for best Batman. Damn, somebody remembered the Dark Knight existed? How could it be? That movie came in in 2008. Who wrote that? It, over there, for the Super Town what do you think? Val Kilmer for Bizarro, that's my hot pick for Bizarro. I love Val Kilmer. Okay, I think. No one's gonna say Adam West? Okay, Dom will represent for the late great Adam West. I represent Adam West, alright. Thank you. He never gave up, he came back. I gotta go back to the short chair. Okay, so we've eliminated by by time and your your enthusiasm, we've eliminated the the lazy latest Justice League animated movie Batman's totally right. Yeah. None of them. No one's gonna. Okay. Is that Bruce no. Greenwood? No. no. Who's that? Are the bad? Who's the worst Batman? Raise your hands if you think the worst Batman is Adam West. No. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Raise your hands if the worst Batman is George Clooney. Yes. Raise your hands if the worst Batman is Val Kilmer. Raise your hands if the worst Batman is Ben Affleck. The Batfleck. Oh snap! It looks like it's definitive. Outnumbered. The only person of the Batman. Oh no, maybe Christian Bale might have an Oscar, but George Clooney, Oscar award winner, is the worst Batman according to the Vundercast now. Thank you, people. Oh my God. The Academy, we're never gonna get Academy cards, Danielle. Oh my god. Okay. The Bizarro. Bizarro Batman. Adam West, best Bizarro. Okay, we got we got a little flicker. Four. Okay. Ben Affleck. Ooh, two for Affleck. I would have voted. I'm voting for Affleck. I like Bizarro. Okay. Uh Michael Keaton. Whoa, two for Keaton. Okay, so for the tell us. Uh, Val Kilmer! Val Kilmer's Val about to win! Whoa. What? Oh snap! You can't film his knees, but he's the best Batman. Watch out, Val Kilmer. Check out the Island of Dr. Moreau. It's weird. His knees are constantly taped. <laughs> Why? Okay. And now the best Batman of all time in space and history. I'm surprised no one nominated Diedrich Bader from Batman the Brave and the Bold. Great series. Guys, I, mean, I never knew his name. You're I going would, deep cuts him. now. I didn't know his name. Well, if I'm not going to do deep cuts, then I'm going to have to call Wolverine over here to fucking snicked it up. Whoops, curse words. Okay. Best Batman, Adam West. Two. Best Batman, Ben Affleck. Yeah. Oh, shit, we got three. Three for the bat plug. And I see everyone outside of the doors raising their hands. You all just can't see they're beyond distance. But the whole world has the, the whole billion dollars that Justice League made just raised its hands in another earth. Um, <laughs> best Batman, Christian Bale. The man with quite possibly the best Batman movie. Who could the guy with the best Batman movie lose best Batman? Kevin Conroy, if you walk through this door, no Kevin Conroy, don't walk through that door. Don't walk through that door, because you just got beat by Christian Bale from Newsies. Right? You just got beat by Christian Bale from Newsies? Yeah, right? Michael Keaton? Did I say Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton. Okay, it looked to me like Christian Bale just won. Christian Bale won. Christian Bale won, so it's definitive. Christian Bale is the good Batman. Val Kilmer is the bizarro Batman. And George Clooney was the bad Batman all along. Whoa. What a surprise. No one had no idea in this room before it happened. Wow. All right. So does anyone want to throw out 
a category. Best Joker. Best Joker. Oh my God! And you've just unlocked. I see this one. You just unlocked that right now. You just unlocked a second. You just unlocked a second category by accident. Okay. By choosing that option, you unlock the second category by accident. So right after we decide this, we're gonna decide on the best Batman villain that is not the Joker. Oh, that's okay, that's okay? Fair. All right, okay. fine. Joker gets no category. I'm best fine. Joker nominations. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, you are in contention John for the best Joker. John DiMaggio. Yeah. Caesar Romero. John DiMaggio. Caesar Romero. Come on, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, Ledger. Ledger. John, John, John DiMaggio, John DiMaggio. Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson. Okay, we got you. Oh, I got you. The okay, nobody's gonna nominate the guy oh from Birds of Prey for one no. cutaway cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a great performance. No, gonna nominate that that Gotham. Who's that guy from Gotham? Is he any good? I don't watch that. What was his name? Frank. Mark Hamill? No, it wasn't Mark Hamill. It was, um... He told me Glenn not to take this. Frank, who fills the Joker in Mark Hamill? It wasn't Mark Hamill. Jack Sparrow's spouting mad truth right here. Y'all listen to Jack Sparrow. Nolan North. His compass is pointing towards the best Joker, maybe. Which Joker was he? Mark of Origin. Okay. I think we're ready to vote. We put... Jai Courtney, what? He's no, a Captain Boomerang. He's Captain Boomerang. <laughs> yes, he is. And he's John McClane's son. He is not the Jerry Leto. We didn't put Jerry Leto in there. Is he in? He wasn't in. He's a Joker. But he wasn't. Was great. Was great Jim Carrey, the great Riddler. Jim, what? No, 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 wait. We're doing wait, just. Joker? Okay, Joker. hold on. Pause. Pause. I think we've gotten. I think the Joker has driven us mad. <laughs> Okay, it's getting a little Arkham in here. <laughs> the Joker is not the Riddler. Do not get Best away. Joker, is it Heath Ledger? Raise your hands. Yeah. No. I'm wearing Heath Ledger shirt. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, this could turn the tide here. Best Joker, Jack Nicholson. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Uh, the reason why I think Jack Nicholson is the best Joker is because he's the only Joker to get his own Joker movie. Like, yeah. <laughs> the first Batman movie, Batman is like the B-plot. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's very true. It's the first he time. did it first. I, yeah, I know. I, best he, Joker. He told Heath Ledger, don't do it. It's yo, fuck you up. Yo, Jack. Yo, Jack. That rum is strong, son. <laughs> that rum is strong, player. That rum is strong. <laughs> if you fall okay. asleep, it's okay. It is okay. We don't begrudge you. It's not okay. It's a long night. Okay, just take a nap. Let's do it. All right. All right. Next up, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill? I thought we did Mark Hamill. Okay. Oh, there's Mark Hamill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see double voting, but I'll allow it. Oh, someone's holding up Ledger's face. We voted on Ledger. We'll add you 13. We'll add you number 13 to Ledger. He has 12 votes so far. I think Ledger won. I mean, Ledger's about to win. Cesar Romero. Oh god, Ledger just won from beyond the grave. Thank you, Heath Ledger. I always thought Heath Ledger had a strange T in his forehead every time he liked to trip to look <laughs> especially attractive to women. He did, yes. I agree. Bizarro Joker. Yeah, the Bizarro Joker. Joker. What's Jared up? Leto. I got someone with a hand in the back? Yeah. Jack Nicholson, still. Yes. That's Jared, Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. All right. John, John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio, the voice of Bender. Well, nobody's gonna say. Uh, 60s Joker. Cesar Romero. Okay. Kevin Michael Richardson, the Bat, the Batman. Anyone want to nominate him? No. He was alright. Okay. Vote. Uh, Leto. 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 Raise your hands for Leto. For the Bizarro Joker. Leto, Bizarro Joker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 Okay. One more. If no one gets more than ten on this next vote, I'm gonna give it to Leto right now. Nicholson? One. Nicholson was better than John DiMaggio? Two? 
three. I think it's pretty clear who the winner is. Jared Leto is a is a Wonder Cast Award winner. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. Jared Leto won Best Supporting Actor and now Best Bizarro Joker. Oh my God! Take us through the bad jokers. Is there any bad joker? Jared Leto is nominated for Bad Joker. Oh my God! Oh my God! He could be a double winner. Oh my God! Can you imagine if he sweeps every category now? Oh my God! No more nominations, Bad Joker? Bad Joker, yeah. Jared Leto for sure. That's it. That's the only one you want. You don't have another Bad Joker? No, that's it. No Do one will run against you. I have Brent Spiner as Joker and Young Justice. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, oh snap. This guy just got an Oh, guess what? You get to come up here and get a, the two free comics out of that box. Oh, snap. There's prizes, son. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good. By the way, for all you new people, at the end, one of you get picked and you get this free drawing of Cheetah. Whoa. <laughs> the one who participates the best and makes us no, least you. mad. So far, Jack Sparrow <laughs> is in last place. Because that's a. <laughs> that's <laughs> She's working her way up. It's all good. We have prizes right. for all y'all, so please yeah, yeah. participate. Okay, next. Okay, so I think it's pretty. Uh, uh, from, it's the, from the vibe in the room. Okay, Brent Spiner, raise your hands. Worst Joker. He had a creepy, high-pitched voice. I love Command. He's got three. Jared Leto, bad Joker. Oh. I feel bad doing this because I liked it. Out of two, out of two. So bad. It was bad. It was, bad. It, was, it was bad, but he had his value because he, he pulled off a miracle. He was the sexy Joker. We yes. never thought we could be attracted to a Joker. Oh no, I have never been attracted to the Joker exactly. ever. And when he walked up to me, I was like, I really don't like you for doing this to me. I don't appreciate this. I don't want to find you attractive. But somehow, the hot topic cheek, I don't know what the fuck's going on. The shirtlessness, the purple coat. What the fuck is it? What are you doing? Yes. 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 I have done it. It has been done. Don't you agree? Catwoman. Oh, no. Hello Kitty. Wait, what? <laughs> best, no, we're doing, we're doing best, best non-Joker Batman villain. Best Batman villain who is not the Joker. Riddler. Mr. J, lead us. The court of, the court of Jim Carrey, Riddler. 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 All right, I we got four, five. More, nomi more nominations? Uh, Close. I got another Riddler. Close. Oh, he was excellent. Wait, wait, no, let's do best. Best? Best. Oh, oh, oh. What's the name of the guy who played Scarecrow? Oh, Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy, yeah. No, 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 no. You guys are lost. You guys are lost. This is just the character now, okay? So this is a Batman villain, the Clayface, Two-Face, Riddler, Joker, not Joker. You switched the game Not Joker. Harley Quinn is available. Kite Man. Kite Man's up for Bizarro. Watch out. And Bad. The Court. Condiment King is up for Bizarro. And Bad. And Good. I really like. Yeah. Should that be the silliest of villains? Calendar Man. You guys want to do Bizarro first? It feels like best Bizarro Batman villain. Crazy Quilts. Whoa. Who else we got? Condiment King. Condiment King. Anyone else from uh, the Lego Batman movie? Who you mind here? Eraserhead. Eraserhead. Gotta go classic with that mic. That mic. Whoa, the rip off Mr. Mixer Pitlick. I can't even do that. But there we go. Next up, uh, who else could be nominated? They want to is rate them both? Bizarro, right? I think we're ready. We're doing Bizarro, yeah. best Batman villain that is not the Joker. I'm going to put up the Mad Hatter. Okay? Because oh, I feel like the Mad Hatter had one story. We played that story. Everything else is just a remake. No, thank you. And his performance. This is what I wrote down. Oh, those are your nominees? Okay. That's what I wrote down from people yelled. Scarecrow? He's good? Scarecrow. That's bizarre. Okay. Like Alright, let's vote. Condiment King, raise your hands. I hate condiments. He would scare the crap out of me. <laughs> I like my burger slain. That's how I roll. Doing Bizarro. Just draw. You're good. Draw Cheetah. You got it. Alrighty. Bizarro's not a Batman villain. Jack Sparrow. Take it easy. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, raise your hands. Condiment King, looks like he's gonna get away clean. Crazy Quilt, raise your hands. Calendar Man, Bizarro, no hand raising. Okay, no, 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 we're, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, what's name? Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter? Most Bizarro? Oh! He got votes! Condiment. So he might just win. Oh shit, screw you, Mad Hatter. You're, you're off this freaking island. You're the you're not the survivor. He is the bizarro. He is Be the gone. bizarro, yeah. For yeah, he's sure. the bizarro one. It's the bizarro, exactly. Everything's yeah. opposite. Don't you understand? Exactly. Oh lord. Oh, God. It's it's fun. Fun. So no, it, it is late. <laughs> it is late. And look, the greatest crossover in DC history. I like to imagine that everyone in Anchorman could play someone in the multiverse. Wow. <laughs> right? Ben Stiller, Sinestro? That shit would be good. <laughs> All right. Who's, who's uh, Ron Burgundy? Who's Ron Burgundy? He's the Superman. <laughs> you know? Hey, you stay classy, Metropolis. So oh. I think the winner was Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter, ding, ding, ding. Who? Bat Mite. Bat Mite. I'm going to vote for Bat Mite. Guys, everyone raise their hands for Bat Mite. Whoa. Bat Four. Five. Oh, no. Five. Bat Mite just won. Upset. Because he controls reality and space. Damn you, you fifth dimensional imp. Although I'm not, is he a fifth dimensional? Is he the, from the exact same dimension as Mr. Miz? I don't think yes. so. Yes. Yes, the exact same dimension. Yep. How deliciously clean. Best Batman villain that is not the Joker. The Riddler is nominated, right? Yes, definitely. Riddler, a.k.a. Well, the Joker with more questions. Sorry. Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> Guy in the hat, Marvel hat. What's your nomination? Riddler, yeah. oh, you're voting, you're all voting. Yeah. I heard Qu Court of Owls. Okay. Court of Owls? Yeah. Yeah. Zaz. 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 Best? Best I don't know? Zaz? Yeah. I guess he's the most realistic. Yes, here we go. Poison Ivy. Rachel Gruel, holy moly, thank you. The demon's head himself. The only villain so creepy that he wanted to steal Batman's body. And then bang his daughter in it. Maybe. I'm gonna put Bane Whoa. up in there. That's creepy. Bane, <laughs> Bane destroyed Batman. Let me, let me for a while. Bane. Bane. Whoa. What's up? Bane. The creepiest thing Rogers has ever done. He took his daughter's body. I just said that. Oh, yeah. I just said that. I just said that. It was a flashback. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, my God. Nicolas Cage is going insane. I think he would have made the greatest. Green Lantern ever. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Cage, I think, would have been. And my favorite, and, defeat and my favorite character is Hal Jordan. But if literally, if Hal Jordan was just Nicholas Cage flying a plane Sweet. and being so cocky, and just everyone being like, this idiot <laughs> Earthman thinks he's gonna save the world, and he's like, I'm the 2014 protector. It's cool. Okay. Let's vote. Let's, do Let's get a winner. The good. Zaz. Raise your hands if you think Zaz is the good villain. Changing my vote. Whoa, oh my god. <laughs> Another <laughs> cut on Zaz's back as he's betrayed. Zaz has been defeated. The Riddler, show of hands. Whoa, three, four, five hands. The Penguin, show of hands. He's basically the reverse Batman. <laughs> Only his whole gimmick. Yes, of course I put Penguin in here. He ran for mayor. But you didn't declare. He's like the Oliver Queen of supervillains. He's the best. He was in the movie. Catwoman. No one nominated Catwoman. How dare you? Catwoman? No. She broke his heart. Because she's, she's too sexy, man. But this is really good, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Batman. Okay. No votes for Catwoman? Court of Owls. One Catwoman, two Catwoman, oh, two three Catwoman. Catwoman, three Catwoman. I was Catwoman. Court of Owls? One. Okay, I see, uh, I see massive winning going on here. Poison Ivy. Poison, Poison Ivy? Ivy. To Rachel Gould. Rachel Gould, Rachel yeah! Gould. Rachel Gould, two, two three, three, four, five. George, if you don't raise your hand for Rachel Gould, our podcast <laughs> loses all credibility. Six, Rachel Gould, one! Bane! 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 Oh no, Bane! God one, damn it, you stupid women! I <laughs> love this sexy Bane! I do love sexy Bane. Yes, bangs. I do. Muscly. Four, five? You're raising your hand as well? Any more Banes? I have five for Bane. 
Five for Bane. Uh, Rajan Ghoul still won. Rajan Ghoul still won the demon's head. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Best. This one's going to be really good. You guys, this is the one I was most excited about right now. Whoa, this is the Great Destiny. What the hell happened to my video? Things went insane here. What? Is that done? I don't know. It like transformed into... There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted when I edited this. There, there we go. That's the good stuff. Okay. I'm sorry, repeat that? Batman has his own greatest villain. What does that mean? That means oh. he's his own greatest villain because he can't give up crime. He's his own grandpa. And just be happy. Holy shit, the guy in the Marvel hat. Come up here, get some free comics. You just blew that was my deep shit. mind. That was also, deep. the nominators deep of Rachel Ghoul and Zaz, please. Come get some comics. Get comics. Basically, everyone in the room. Go get like, get like, like one And get some comics if you open your mouth. Yeah, if you yeah, didn't, yeah. we have the honor system. We will know what's up. You guys can scan. Don't treat this like that trick or treat. You guys can wait one at a time. Handy. You'll see when someone's finished. I'm sure they'll leave you the good stuff, right? Yeah, right. Or maybe right. Of course. Of course. Um, my question to you all. We need to decide the good, the bad, and the bizarro about the Joel Schumacher Batman movies. We, we have two the films. Best yet. What? We didn't do the best? Did we? I thought well, the best one was Demon's I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. There you go. I believe that Joel Schumacher's Batman movies, although there are only two of them, they have more depth than every other Batman movie ever made in existence. And then everyone else left. Not the, not the TV shows, but the movies. The Bizarro. So, wait, 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 what? wait, wait. We're going to stop. Okay. Record scratch. So you think that nipples on the back suit? <laughs> I said depth. depth. What does it say? What do you mean by depth? Do you okay. mean how deep okay. the shots are? No, like no, no. How no. far back they go? How deep his cod pieces? Oh, I see. And his man buns? No, no, no. Because what I mean, what I mean is, wow. Joel Schumacher is, without a doubt, in my opinion, a visionary filmmaker. The Lost Boys is one of the greatest films. Of all time, I'd say it was on your list of best 80s movies. It was movies. on my list. You yes. agree with me? Sometimes all right? he does it right. Sometimes he doesn't. Joel Schumacher had a vision for Batman. Okay. Joel Schumacher understood that Batman has a fractured psyche. All right. Just like Christopher Nolan did. All right. But Joel Schumacher, he's old school. He grew up on 60s Batman. So his version of fractured psyche is that Batman gets a bat credit card. You know, Batman. Like, what are deep, dark things does it say about Batman that at this point in his crime-fighting life, he needs to accentuate the sexuality of it? He's getting off on catching Mr. Freeze, all right? Why do you think he's flirting with Poison Ivy the whole movie? Wait. Whoa, whoa, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a hand raise. Someone's waving me down. I, I love that you said a vision because he was obviously high AF. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely high no, no, I, I feel like he really wanted to, I think he asked himself this question in the pitch meeting, like, what if the Adam West Batman took itself way too seriously? And then he said, this is what I shall make! And then, I'm sorry, the best puns ever were made in Batman and Robin. So for that alone, he does succeed, and I will give him that. Well, out of the original movies, it was a, like Batman Forever was the first one that they tried to actually go back and like explain the backstory because like in the first Batman, they they pretty much didn't do that. They just like they just show when his parents get shot and that's it. But in, in Batman Forever, they actually show like what happened when he fell down and, now and he found was... the book and he thought it was his fault, but it was actually his parents that wanted to go see the movie. So the epic shot of Batman and Robin running as a fan slowly churns behind them and the light, you know, overtakes them. But at this point, how many times have we seen Batman's parents die? It's kind of sadistic, <laughs> man. It's like every movie shall have more slow motion pearls falling than you've ever seen before in your whole life. But Batman, it's a metaphor. back then the, the blood was nice and fresh, it was still wet. I think there's actually a video on YouTube that someone compiled every Batman parent's so death and they did it all in one shot. Like they had all, every single one and they, they, they synced them up and then they show each one happening. And I'm like, man, this is some fucked up shit. I don't know, it's kind of bad. Leave 
leave this man alone. His parents are dead. I love Batman Forever as well. Personally, it has day glow, crime fighting. You know, we got street gangs and neon paint. You have like all the visuals in Joel Schumacher Batman movies are more Batman-y than all the other Batman movies up until Zack Snyder. Like, Joel Schumacher has Batman Batman fucking surfing on a door in the air. Only the Green Ranger Tommy had done such aerial feats up to this point in cinema history. Can you imagine this? The Green Ranger outdid Batman. Dominic, what you got? I think my favorite thing, from, especially from Batman Forever, was Tommy Lee's Two-Face. Oh yeah. Tommy Lee Two Face was the Tommy Lee as Two Face was the greatest thing in that film. Okay, so good and bad. Is Batman and Robin the good of the Schumacher films? Raise your hands. This is this is this is a two-party system. We have to vote. You have to vote. Okay, two. It's good. Batman Forever. Whoa, they think it's good. These. These saboteurs, these trolls over here, they, they love bat nipples and, and cod pieces. What can we do? Yeah. Whoa, Batman Forever is the best Batman Joel Schumacher. Because, well, here's why. But I think it's because, like, by the time Batman and Robin came around, as fun as they are, the villains are just cartoons. But the Riddler is actually still kind of a pretty damn scary, yes. intimidating villain. Um, and Jim Carrey just sold the shit out of that. Fucking like, did. Fucking did. Yeah. It's, it's probably... Uh, Like, Mr. Freeze was kind of like a joke, but the Riddler was still kind of real. I like to think sometimes about how could you take villains from the past Batman movies and fit them into the Nolan verse, just because the Nolan verse is so in its own thing. And I actually think there's like two, and I think it's Catwoman and the Riddler. Like the two guys that could actually maybe come in there. But they never did the Riddler. And it was a weird transition between Tim Burton and non-Tim Burton. So many rumors. About like, Leo DiCaprio as the Riddler and no Riddler. Tim Burton versus when it was okay. getting out of Tim Burton was kind of weird. I okay. just think there was like some guy holding Joe Schumacher back for Batman Forever and then uh, he like died or something and they're like, all right, Batman and Robin's neck. Boom! Uh-huh. So the bad Batman Joe Schumacher movie, is it it's Batman it's Forever? Uh huh. No, but that doesn't mean like Jared Leto won two categories. <laughs> totally different. I stand for Batman it. films are so complex. They can work on like a thousand levels, okay? When his parents die, it could be awesome or it could be depressing, you know? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a power fantasy, you know what I mean? So, Joel Schumacher, Batman Forever, any votes that it's the best, it's the worst. The worst. One, Batman and Robin, oh isn't it the worst? Yes. It better be, yes. because yeah, if nice. not, the Russians interfered in this election. <laughs> And now, the bizarro of the Batman Joe Schumacher films. All right? You're about the one, this is the movie, when I say bizarro, if you guys were uh, were watching cable, and this movie came on, either it's Batman Forever or Batman and Robin, and you got a a two-party system, which one are you leaving on? Batman Forever, raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Batman and Batman Robin. And Robin. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. There is a bat crank. Oh my god! What the hell is going on? You get, you get to the window where you see his fucking head just swaggering. So you're like, what is this? So everyone loves Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was weird. The Ice Age has begun. Totally. You got a nomination for the Peoples, Mr. J. Yeah, Batman and Robin. No, no, no. Like a new category. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a damn second. Because you did not do the worst non-Joker I mean, villain. You did Bizarro. It was and Mad Hatter. Best. No, you did Bizarro with Mad Hatter. I did. Best was Ra's al Ghul. And you skipped the worst. All right, all right. Then leave so it. Let's name the worst. Go for it. Take care of me. The Eggman. The Eggman. <laughs> that like some terrible Batman. So bad, no one remembers his name. Condiment King. Oh, no, no, let's just do hand raising for this, okay? Condiment King, raise your hand if Condiment King is the worst. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what about raise egg? your hand if... Egghead. Egg, no, Professor Egghead. Egg. I have one, the petty, the, pe- the petty thief. No. He's gonna win, because no one knows Six, seven, six? Six, but raise your hands again for Egghead if you... 
do not like Vincent Price. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No y- yoking around. So egg, egg man, egg head, egg dude, egg head. Well, we just got breaking news right now. Egghead announced leader of Legion of Doom movie. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. I have a category. What? Best, worst, and bizarro cat woman. Because oh, we got yeah. a lot of cat ladies. Okay, wait. Well, wait, wait, raise Barry. your hands. Raise okay, your worst hands. Worst first? Okay, worst first. Halle Berry. Halle yes. Berry worst. Okay, she's in contention. Dominic. Halle Berry. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Blue shirt? Halle Berry is bizarre. Oh, Halle Berry is bizarre. What's the worst right now? Bizarre, bizarre and worst. Keep, keep in mind. For, for, in universe. What the fuck? For who, where, and what? Repeat yourself? No, no, no. What is she even doing in the Batman universe? Oh, oh. making skin cream that oh. kills you. Not the wrong guy? What's up? Are we actually just doing. We're oh, doing just right the now. Worst we're doing the worst Catwoman. Cat I mean, no, you can, do, you can do. You can do. Are we doing? We know who's worst. Which one? Ooh, the worst. 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 the Selena Kyle that goes good. The current incarnation uh, of DC Comics. Basically, DC 52 is that? I, I think is that DC whichever yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So we can call that fiance Catwoman. What's your what choice? Wait, the cart, like, the cart, like Frank Miller, she, he does Frank not like Miller? Frank Miller. So the but the Dark Knight Strikes Again, Catwoman. I don't like. Her. Okay, I think it's a cool design. I don't know what's the beef, man. Come on. No, she looks great. Okay. Uh, anyway. Worst Catwoman. Anyone else? Is anyone gonna nominate? Anyone else? Uh, not like a incarnation. And halfway to Newmar. You better not. You better not. No. You better not. Um, okay, let's vote. I feel like we have enough crappy pussy in this category. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going blue. It's getting later at night. This is after all, ladies friend. and gentlemen. You can close that door if you don't want the kids hearing the P word. Hey, yeah, you heard it. Go no, on, come on in. It's all good. We're talking about the best, the worst Catwoman right now. Who do you think the worst Catwoman is? Okay, so Halle Berry's first. Raise your hand. No, worst. Because Halle Berry, not good Catwoman. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, she won. fifteen. She won. Academy Award winner Halle Berry. It wasn't Halle her fault. Won. It's the pants. It's the worst pants. Catwoman Award. It's it not the crop top. It was the pants. It was so bad. She got a. 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 Could beat the type of voting we just seen. The results are in Catwoman. Uh, I agree. I'm Bizarro, so sorry. Bizarro, we started off with him. Bizarro, Bizarro Catwoman. Who else? Nominations. How can you beat Cindy Crawford, though? How can you beat that? Cindy Crawford was not a Catwoman. Cindy Crawford was not a Catwoman. Was, Catwoman. Catwoman. Was, Catwoman. 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 Was, Catwoman. was only Catwoman, Catwoman. 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 Was only Catwoman on your earth. Jack Sparrow? 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 Jack Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Jack Jack Sparrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I think you need a refill, bro. Or you need a not a refill. No, she got it. She got it. She, got it. she needed a second. Another okay. bizarro. Oh, no, was we got, we got. I put her on the list. We're on the list. Next she's, one. You know, she's on point. Oh, oh, okay. Earth a king. I mean, good, good choice. That would have been my choice. I like the way she purrs. She's got the best player in town. She does. Yeah. yeah. She got that shit. You know Nobody's going to nominate Anne Hathaway. It wasn't Adrian Anne Barbeau, Catwoman, for a couple minutes. Anne Hathaway was pretty good. I don't know about, I don't know about she Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Okay. Sparrow. 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 Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. One nomination per category. All right? I'll, I'll, take, I'll take one Jack Sparrow per category. All right? All right. Do, you, do you need some Doritos, baby? Do you need some? You yeah. gotta take care of yourself, my love. You want Cheetos? You got Doritos. <laughs> you want Cheetos? You got it. Come handle. on in, sit down. Eat some bread. We sit take down. Them. We're take voting on the bread. Yeah. 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 Do it. There are prizes, comics. Jack Sparrow, why don't you look for some comics? You like comics? Come on down. Find some you comics. You want a comic? Go look through that beauty of comics. You can do it. I love it. No, let's keep her away from the projector. I'm oh, scared. I'm sorry. Oh, snap. The whole thing can fall apart in the phone. All right, let's go. How much time is left? Okay. Uh, Bizarro Catwoman. We got to choose. All right. Halle Berry. Right, show of hands. Bizarro Catwoman. One. One in the center. Two over here. Close no. Place. Three, four, five. Okay, the Bizarro Catwoman. 
The Catwoman that is like the guilty pleasure the really Michelle fun Pfeiffer. performance. Bizarro Catwoman, one. One, two, three, three, three four, 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 five. five. I like, I like oh, oh, the kid. Nice kid. One, two, three, four. Yes, four, five, six. It's not six, necessarily six, a bad thing. Six, 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 going six, no. No six. And Anne Hathaway, anybody? Anne Hathaway. So I think, Whoa. did Halle Berry win again? Halle Berry is sweeping the Catwoman's, oh my god. If only she, she wished No, no, I think Michelle Do you know she actually accepted the Razzie in person yeah. for that performance? Yeah. She yeah. actually showed up and said, you're totally right. You That's are absolutely how, right. That's how good she is. And oh, yeah. let's do the best Catwoman. Best Catwoman of and, all time. Oh, wait, wait, time out, time out. Wait, what, what, what? what? Batman fiance, Catwoman. We want to vote? Let's get a vote. Oh, yeah, Batman like fiance, Catwoman. Woman. I'm sorry, we forgot. Our loyal man in the center nominates the current incarnation no, of no, no, no. Batman's bride, Catwoman. No. Bride to be, the declawed. No, no, she actually dumped him. That's why she's not. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that was the spoiler? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, so best Catwoman. Obviously, Michelle Pfeiffer's got to be on the list. Julie Who Moore? else? Who else? Julie Moore? Yes. Wait, I'm sorry. What else? Okay. Uh, who else? That's it. Eartha Kitt. Kitt, Eartha Kitt, Eartha Kitt nominated. Sh- Whoa, say that. Sean Young. She never got that part. What's wrong with it? <laughs> um, anybody else? Best Catwoman. Best Catwoman. No, no one else. Come on. Okay, raise your hands. And Hathaway. No one. No. I'm not only Hathaway. I'm putting her. Uh, let's vote. And Hathaway. Best Catwoman. Raise your hands if you think Anne Hathaway was the best Catwoman. Are goggles the best ears you could possibly have? That is the question. No one. I got one. I saw like one hand up. Nope. Anne Hathaway, you are the weakest link. All right. Eartha Kitt, best Catwoman. I'm Raise your hand. Eartha Kitt. I love her. I'm going to vote twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you watch us. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is Bruh. not an organized voting <laughs> <Yeah>. system. <laughs> Because she has been sadly underrepresented. Julie Newmar, the Julie Newmar, Newmar. two yeah. one two. Thanks yeah. for everything. Can you win this category? Two votes in the center, maybe. Yeah. All right, Watch and out. the last one, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, is she the best Catwoman? Raise your hands if you think so. I think so. Whoa, some people look like they like Tim Burton's little stitch pattern on latex. Yeah. You guys have weird kinks, just like Burton. Watch she out. Is the winner. Ding, 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 ding. Well, Michelle so. Pfeiffer, a.k.a. the Wasp. You just made her the best Catwoman. <gasps> Did you? Wait, no. No, it's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. It was a nice. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ruin it from cinematic yeah. experience. Okay. All right. So, uh, how much time is there? So ten minutes left. Oh, we have ten minutes left? Ten minutes. Yes, minutos. Let's give out some prizes. Let's do some trivia, unless you guys have one more. No, nope. everyone wants prizes trivia. It's everyone decided. Stuff. Okay, trivia. Mr. J, think of some trivia questions. I'll do the first trivia question, okay? And this trivia question is small stakes, all right? We have an unopened, pristine Batman notebook, all right? You can keep this notebook in your pocket and you can catch criminals because it's so small. It will fit in your utility belt, okay? You can write notes anytime you want if you know how to write. I'm sorry, I can't write. You got it. If you know how to draw, you could draw on it, I guess, but it's for Batman. Batman doesn't waste his time on doodles. That's the Joker's job. It says crack on the cover because he's punching someone in the face. That's pretty, pretty classy. All right, trivia question. Trivia question. How many seasons did Adam West 1966 Batman TV show run? He was first. Dine Center. Yeah. Three seasons? Ding, ding, ding. That ding, is ding, correct. Ding, ding. You get to keep track of the music. Don't get sued. Crack cocaine. No, I can fuck money. Stick it in your crack. Okay. Next, next prize. Next prize. Next prize can walk out of here with as many comics as they want out of the box in front of you. 
You are now going to get pick of these comics. You can walk away as many as you want right now for this trivia question. Mr. J, you got a trivia question? Whoa. On par for the people? Now you put a lot of pressure on me. Well, I put it on you. It's got to be a hard question. I'm asking a dumb question right now. I was going to ask something easy. Give it to them. Easy. All right, what's the first appearance of Batman in a comic book and the number? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, who was first? This, I, I, I she saw was first. She was first. Yeah. Was first. Batman number one in 1939? or No, sorry. Yes. Oh, he's he's got, got it. The oh, tag oh, oh, You got it. Go get those comics. Get the comics. We can get as many, get as, as, many as you want. want. Whatever you yeah. want. You can take the Kicking old Kicking it old school. If you want, whatever you want. That's actually a kind of Question. You run this. It was tricky because oh. Mr. J's a tricksy, oh. tricksy cat. He spent time in Arkham Asylum. He knows how to trick the people. All right, next All prize. right. Now, the next prize. How's the original art coming? Done. It's working? Done? All right. Danny, take a photo of it on your phone, please. For our records and our logs. Show it off to everyone. We're going up now for the Girls' Night Out box set. We have Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Livewire, Supergirl, and Batgirl. All in one box. They are, there's like posable, old school, rubbery sort of figures. But the classic vi vixens of Bruce Timm's DC animated universe. The greatest universe in all of comics done. Suck it, Marvel Studios. Boom! In your face. Trivia question, Mr. J? Sure. I'll give it another try. Um... What Green Lantern's girlfriend um, got killed and put in a refrigerator? Whoa, she was oh. like, yes. She was the Flash. Come on down, Whoa. the girls' night out. It's your night, girl. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Can we take uh, the prize winners? We'd like to take some photos of you all at the end of the panel, if, if you're comfortable with that. One real quick, a simple one for the pin. One pin for more comments. For the pin, we got a pin. Yeah. Oh, shit. Emerald Warrior pin, simple question. You could be an Emerald Warrior right now. What is it, Frank? All right, so here is a very simple one. Which superhero movie did Nicolas Cage try to be in? Whoa. Thank you, were first. Who was first? What, what was that? Superman. Come on down, you get the Lantern pin. That was Whoa. so easy. Guess what? He's Superman again. And Oh, Titans sure. Go. Yeah, all right. Uh, for the other pin. For the next for pin. For the Batman All right, pin. For this is for the Batman pin. Or should it, my art? Or, I the Batman pin. pin. All right. Uh, this is a, I don't know if it's a hard or easy one. I think you, you, should, you just pay attention. This is for the art. For the art. Okay, then it's a hard one. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I got a hard, I got a hard okay. one for the art. All right. I got what? a hard one for the art. Okay. Wait, you have one for the art, you said? I got one for the art. Okay, then uh, this is for the pin. All right. What Batman villain? Is from the Greek pantheon. Oh. Damn, I know it. Huh? Oh. Yes. yes. Good job. That's a bonus. Sounds like a get your pin. Another question. Well, black and silver. Alright, do your hard question, man. Okay, my hard question. We are looking at your eyes. We have hacked into all your cell phones. We know if you're looking up something online, put your cell phone down. Yeah. For the original piece of cheetah art, you guys got a photo? Oh, awesome. The huh? Can I grab Go for it. Yeah, anybody who participated in this panel, at the end of the panel, feel free to come up and get a free comic. One free comic per person, or else his prize is irrelevant. Um, for the Cheetah original art piece by Obo Obo Ras Art. Or, or, oh. now you got me. No, no, well, I'm, 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 I'm trying to say it. I'm trying to say it in a way that would be easy for them to spell. So it's O B O. There's a sign. Just yeah, use the sign. Yeah, it says O R O B A S T. Yeah, there you go. And when you and when you get this art, you are compulsory to start an Instagram and follow us. Dressed as Cheetah when the movie comes out next year. <laughs> okay. That's if it looks good. This is a two part question. Okay? One, the first part you have, and nobody say anything out loud. First part of this question, you will have to name the actress who is about to play Cheetah in Wonder Woman 2. The second part of this question, you will need to name 
the four characters, the four people that have donned the cheetah gimmick in the comics. Alter ego names. No, no, no. Hey, this is a good piece of art. I want to see if anyone has the blood. I'll give you guys an easy question. If no one will bleed for me. But if there's a 1% chance that someone in this audience can get this question right, then it's an absolute certainty that we need to try. Anybody who what actress will play Cheetah in Wonder Woman 2? Raise your hands. Beyonce is not correct, unfortunately. That's, that's on Earth B. Kristen Wiig. All right, now, there are four alter egos for Cheetah in the comics. The first one of the alter egos. Give me anything. You got anything? You know any of them? Starts with an M. Her name starts with an M. No? no, not at all. Well, last name. Whatever. Last name with an M. Okay. In the back, what's up? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> okay, you people. This question's too hard. You people. Yeah, obviously, Marvel Studios has corrupted all of you. Thanos erased this information from all of all of your minds with the snap of his fingers. God damn it, Thanos, you son of a gun. The correct answer were Priscilla Rich, Deborah Domain, Barbara Ann Minerva, Minerva, and Sebastian Balesteros. That's right. It was a G cheetah. No. Yes! That's the easy part. Bro. We never even got to have a good question. She got it! She got it. Right. Choice. He choice. He chose. Can you choose one of them? <laughs> well, penguins bleeding. Does that mean we're out of time? Oh no! I remember in the future when everybody's dressed up in the costume. It's gonna be everywhere. Whoa! Did you guys have a good time at the silly, silly panel? Woo! We have another panel tonight, late night, eleven fifteen, right? Yes. Room no. th yes. Room three oh five. The sexiest sex that isn't sex, hosted by the wonderful Danielle it over here. She's gonna gonna be about shipping tropes and how they make you tingly all over your body. It's gonna be gonna have some anime clips, gonna have some TV movie clips. It's gonna be an exciting little whoa. Mr. But no Hayes. penetration, just titillation. Whoa! You heard that first, kids. Titillation, low cleavage titillation. Whoa, Mr. J, what do you want to tell the kids to close this podcast? We have Lundacast of Lundablog.com. Uh, please follow us on Instagram. That's me and Danielle, and uh, in the Pete in uh, the Pete district of uh, <laughs> of England. Oh yeah, that's how I know it was at the end. That's me flicking myself off, not oh, you guys. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> that's I'm me telling myself to go away. Like, right. Mr. J, close this podcast. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you really, really bad. Uh, Boom. You, you missed the part where we talked about your little, uh, it's okay. Next time, next time. Please uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play. Tomorrow we have a rant about anything nerdy on a podcast panel at the end of the day in the room 305. Basically we're in room 305, Miami, room until ba, 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 ba. the end of the for the rest of our panels. Thank you everyone who has showed up to multiple Thank panels. You guys. Thank you all for coming out today. We're very appreciative. The rant about anything nerdy to close the con tomorrow is going to be weird, wacky, and wild and I hope that you all come and have fun with us. Uh, peace, love, and hugs. Don't do anything stupid tonight. I miss Jack Sparrow. I'm upset Jack Sparrow didn't stay till the end. <laughs> This is sad. This is sad. Wow. You never notice someone until they're gone, huh? Huh? Boom. I'm Batman. Hey, I'm Wonder. Hey, I'm Wonder. Wondercast? Give yeah. it up for Wondercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wondercast. What's up, everybody? This is JC David Frank, Greek Ranger. You're listening to Boom and Cast. Oh my God.
subscribe to the Vundacast.